yeah, Ty learns editing this video. You know what that means. After the reveal of Luffy's new transformation in the anime, I think it's time to discuss just how powerful the form is. If you guys want a video regarding its narrative aspect, let me know down in the comments and that'll be the next video that drops. Anyway, y'all not here for that. Y'all want to know how powerful this form is. So, you know what? I'm just going to get right into it. How strong is Gear 5? Let's go. Let's go. We first see Gear 5 after Luffy seemingly dies in his battle with Kaido, however due to his fruit awakening, this not only gave him the ability to regenerate, but also take on Kaido stronger than ever in a new form. Now there's no confirmed multiplier for Gear 5, but we can safely assume it's a bigger multiplier than the likes of Snake Man or Gear 4, which is at least 3 times stronger than Gear 2 in terms of power and speed. Gear 2 being confirmed a 10 times multiplier in a guide, and implied by Luffy to be a 10 times boost in the manga, making Gear 5 at least over a 30 times multiplier on top of Luffy's base form. But the main thing to take away from Gear 5 isn't the power multiplier, but rather the abilities Luffy gains access to when in this form. This form allows Luffy to use powers beyond his imagination and utilize things like Toon Force to use Kaido as jump rope, laugh at Kaido's attacks, grab lightning bolts, and etc. The ability itself is very insane, I know. However, a lot of people are now like coming to the conclusion that with this power he can beat characters like Saitama, Naruto, or even Goku. The problem stems from the fact that Luffy literally can't use this power beyond the limitations of his universe. We know Kaido with his hockey is able to not only get completely folded by Gear 5 Luffy and can still harm him, which would mean that hockey negating fruits to an extent is true, and if you are stronger than Luffy or relative to him, then his Gear 5 abilities won't be really as overwhelming as you'd think it'd be. But yeah, these type of people unironically exist like People think Luffy can grab and hopscotch over Goku's Kamehameha waves, but that's simply not how Luffy's abilities work. And you're just saying he has no limit without making any actual argument. This is basically another Saitama slash Gojo case where Luffy literally can't do anything and everything in solo fiction. Just like how Saitama can't literally one-shot any character in fiction or no one can literally hit Gojo in fiction. You guys need to relax with these kind of takes, man. You guys get way too out of hand. As for his other abilities that should be noted, we know that he can regenerate, but it isn't without cost of his stamina, and apparently he gets stronger the more he laughs. I don't know how serious that statement should be taken but i mean it's there like i said this form is insane and it seems incredibly overpowered but it isn't without its flaws gear 5 stamina drain is pretty ridiculous and after using this form it just leaves luffy looking like an old nutsack and renders him in an even worse fatigue state than gear 4. in terms of how strong it is in comparison to like the in universe of one piece i mean this luffy is probably stronger than kaido just by a little bit kaido being the same person who's constantly put on the same level as shanks or whitebeard even though i I do think those two characters are stronger than Kaido by a little bit. Regardless, I think Kaido is going to give either one of them a hard time in a 1v1, and I think Luffy is just a little bit stronger than Kaido. So, yes, I do think Luffy can press Shanks and a healthy old Whitebeard. However, due to them having more consistent proof of them being the strongest and also Gear 5's ridiculous stamina drain, I would probably give it to Shanks and healthy old Whitebeard. But as for other Yonkos, I think Gear 5 Luffy scales above Kaido, Big Mom, the Whitebeard at Marineford, and potentially blackbeard the only reason i say potentially is because he has anti-feats and i feel like we should wait until blackbeard fights like a top tier or something that way we can definitively answer if luffy can beat blackbeard or not but with that being said ladies and gentlemen despite gear 5's insane display of power it is not as strong as people make it out to be in terms of like crossverse but in terms of in universe gear 5 luffy is one of the strongest characters alive right now and in terms of multipliers we don't have a confirmed one but we know it's just at least over 30 times which is kind of dookie buns but hey hopefully you learned something and uh if you didn't, thanks for the money. I mean, thanks for watching. Peace out, guys.